Hey, this is Roger Patterson with Vision for Life Radio, where faith and sports collide. We're in studio with Lance Berkman today, and we're stepping into the playoffs. Lance, tell us about the Astros' chances of winning a World Series. Well, they certainly have the best team, I feel like, in the field, but that doesn't always guarantee that they'll get the job done. Uh, anytime you're talking about the best of the best right. in uh, in the league, you're going to run up against some really good pitching. The, there are other teams that have capable lineups, so... They'll have their work cut out for them, but I, I really feel like that they are the clear front runner, and you know they're playing well. It's one of those deals you, you hope that your team sort of peaks. You hear that all the time in sports. Right. We want to right peak time. at the right time, yeah. and um, I don't really see a team that is coming into the playoffs on just this unbelievable hot streak where they're, they seem like kind of a team of destiny. Uh, I do think maybe a sleeper would be the Nationals. You know, I think they had to scramble. And right. a lot of times when you get those teams that really have to fight and scratch even to make the playoffs, it puts them in the right frame of mind, you know, heading in. And sometimes as, if you're the Astros, you kind of have to guard against a little bit of the complacency of, okay, right. you know, we're the front runner. We've right. known we were going to the playoffs for a long time. And they really haven't had to scratch and claw like some of the other teams have. But – that being said, to me, on paper, there's there's no comparison. Yeah, they've got. I mean, they got the lineup. They're crushing the baseball. The pitching is, is better. I I'm, I'm concerned about some of their mid to late relief. Well, yeah, I mean, and just like there is no perfect team. I mean, I'm sure right. if you if we went to go break down all of the other contenders, you would find you have similar some serious flaws in, yeah. in different areas. And the bullpen is always a concern. Very yeah. rarely, you know, do managers feel just great about every guy in their bullpen that's always one of those things sure, where sure, sure, maybe sure. I got a good closer lockdown closer like Mariano Rivera was for so many <clears throat> years with the Yankees but then you're like well how can we get the ball to him you know like what happens right. if the starter right. goes out in the fourth right. inning and do we have enough pitching to get the, the to bridge the gap yeah. and so there there are those considerations but by and large I mean you got two legit you know top frontline starters with with Garrett Cole and, oh, and Verlander oh, and man. you know then you've got some very capable guys that are pitching in the the three and four slot and I think the bullpen's good enough and with that lineup heck I mean you know yeah. they, they, they could what about Alvarez up. I mean yeah, have you seen just, a, Alvarez talk about Jordan Alvarez oh man as good a young hitter as I've seen and maybe you know maybe I've ever seen he is just he's excellent I love his plate discipline for a young hitter is off the chart it's like he never swings at a bad pitch right. it seems like uh he's got a great swing great balance and for he's a he's a big guy like he's a tall guy um, and his plate coverage is excellent for a tall, you know, a lot of times a tall hitter will have trouble maybe with the ball up and in or, you know, when the ball gets a little bit closer to him. But it seems to me that he, he handles all areas of strike zone well, no, doesn't hardly get fooled, and, and he's got a ton of power. We had talked at lunch a little bit today about pressure and the guys who are the finesse pitchers in the environment of pressure. It's, it's not as uh, – sometimes their stuff can be off a little bit. Talk a little bit about that. What's that like? Well, it's just it, it, one of the tricks of being a good postseason performer is you really have to have control of your emotion and, and your adrenaline and everything speeds up. And the guys that are successful are able to slow the game down in their mind. I don't mean like, you know, throw slower. Sure. I'm just saying they, you know, they don't let the situation get too big. They, they approach it. It's all, it's impossible. You you can say, oh, they just act like it's another game. Well, no, that's not going to happen because of the pageantry and because right. you know what's at stake. So you're not going to trick yourself into right. Right. that state of mind. But there are some guys that can channel that nervous energy into greater focus, greater concentration. And the problem that you get into is sometimes if you have a finesse pitcher, that adrenaline – Actually, you know, they're at their best when they're not throwing quite as hard. So, like, if a guy's right. throwing, you know, 90 miles an hour, his ball will move, and that movement will keep, you know, keep hitters off sure. balance. But if he throws 92 with a little extra adrenaline, the ball straightens out. Big league hitters can hit that. Mm -hmm. So that's where you, where you see, you know, some of those guys that, that rely a little bit more on guile and finesse, they don't do quite as well in the playoffs is because that extra adrenaline – doesn't enable them to, to you know to have the same the ball movement on the ball and, yeah. and put it right where they need to. So you know that's why it's important. You got to have those shutdown guys, those power pitchers, which the Astros have two of those guys. And and like I said, you know I don't and not that they have chopped liver after that. They've got some very capable guys, you know, sure. pitching at yeah. the four spot. Yeah. But yeah, um, you they really feel where they good. are. They yeah. would be 107 wins. I mean, incredible, ridiculous. Year. Yeah. So. so it just you feel good with with Verlander right. and Cole yeah. on the mound. Yeah. But yeah. So, last question. We've got just a minute or two. Talk about the Dodgers and what you've seen with the uh, with them this year, and and how you know they're they're they've been in the last two World Series, 
and they've just come up short, just come up short. Do you, do you think they've got a chance to really take a hard run? Well, I think they do. I mean, I think that experience is important. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for them, you know, the Astros have about as much experience now as right, they do. Right, sure. So were they to lock up again, you right. wouldn't be able to, to give an edge one way or the other based on experience. So uh, I do think that when you keep the same group of guys together and when they've been sort of to the summit and haven't been able to get it done – there is a greater sense of urgency and it's almost like the burn the boats deal where right. you know like they know Let's that go. their window's closing we right. got to get it done and so sometimes that can be a dangerous thing right. like if you have to face them in the world series they're going to be a tough team to beat well hey it's going to be fun that's why they play the games uh, gives gives guys a chance to talk about it we're on vision flight radio where faith and sports collide with world series champion lance berkman